Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new kind of video on the channel. Once again, it is the Feral Daryl that plays. Today, we are playing Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, specifically Bowser's Fury. This game came out today, February 12th. We have been waiting for this game to come out for a very long time. And today is the day that it finally comes out. I got it in the mail, and now I am playing it. I hope you guys enjoy and love videos like this. If you do, please like this video so you guys can let me know to do more of these types of videos. By the way, this is only part one of this series. This takes about four to six hours to complete itself, this Bowser's Fury portion, and I'm only going to be playing a little portion of it myself today. So, if y'all want more, just do what I said already, and let's get into the video. So, right here, it looks like we're looking for something. I'm not quite sure what yet. I dropped onto this island, surrounded by black goo, and I'm not sure what to look for. But look, right there in the distance, it's Bowser. Ooh, this Bowser already? That's pretty crazy. Usually Bowser is the end boss, but I guess in this game, you fight Bowser quite often. So, I'm running away from all the fireballs that Bowser is spitting down onto the land, so I do not die. So luckily, today is my lucky day, and I've already played this game on the Wii U before, so I know how the movement works. I've not played Bowser's Fury because it is new to the Nintendo Switch, but I know how the movements work because I have played Super Mario 3D World on the Nintendo Wii U before. But wow, look how scary Bowser looks. He looks like Inferno Bowser. If I were to give him one name, that's a name I would give him, Inferno Bowser. Look how huge he is, and look how scary looking he is. It looks like he's just so powerful. He has all these fireballs, throwing these fireballs at us, and he has all these pillars and everything that look like they're from Super Mario Odyssey. But yeah, Bowser's just a big, mean guy. We don't want to mess with him that much. That's why I'm not doing anything. Also, I'm not quite sure how to do anything to him anyway. But I'm just going to follow these coins, grab the coins, because maybe I was supposed to go this way the entire time, and I just went the other way by an accident. So it looks like there's some sort of metal up there, and Bowser's blowing fireballs right now. When the screen turns red like it is, that means he's about to throw a massive stream slash beacon of fireball at you. So this is called a cat shrine. So then I will be referring to this as a cat shrine for the whole rest of the series. And it looks like this is the first one. Looks like there is five spots left to go. Actually, no, there's five in total, four left to go. So I guess I gotta find four more. So I guess the light from the lighthouse scared him away. So now I know his weakness, the light. So hopefully we can do something about this and hopefully kill Bowser one last time. Let's go. We need to go, we need to hurry, and go beat Bowser, it's now or never. But look at this, a brand new island is coming out of the water after defeating Bowser the first time. So now we have some new area to explore. This is pretty cool, and in the middle, it looks like is Bowser's shell. So there's someone calling for help down there, I'm gonna go help. Ooh, but it looks like Bowser Jr. Should I help Bowser Jr., guys? I don't know, let me know. I think I should. Let's see how it goes. So he's crying, he's upset, let's see. So, a picture of Bowser, okay. That's his dad. So let's see what he's trying to say. Bowser... Ooh, he went from a decent, normal Bowser to a scary, crazy, inferno Bowser. So it looks like Bowser Jr. is in trouble. His dad is out of control. I don't know what happened, quote Bowser Jr. So, I'm like, well, should I help him? I mean, he's kind of my enemy. I don't know, we'll see. I tried to help him, but he's too big and mad. Okay, so at least he did try. I can't change dad back to myself. Okay, so he's maybe asking me for help? I guess so, okay. Um, I never ask you for help, never ever. Okay, so he is asking me for help. But I'll do anything to save Bowser, so help me, Mario. Yes, I will, Bowser Jr. I mean, it's not like I have much of an option anyway. Okay, you can help me. Not, I help you. You help me, Bowser Jr. Okay, you've teamed up with Bowser Jr. How much should he help you? There's a little bit. 
a lot, none. Okay, I guess I'll choose a little because that was a default. And hopefully it only goes good from here. One thing to mention, you can play two players. I'm going to be doing this by myself. But Bowser Jr. is with me always, and hopefully he can do something good. So wow, I shook a tree and got a mushroom, that's cool. And on the bottom left, there's like a rack of items you can get. That's pretty cool. Uh, they didn't have that in the other Super Mario games, that's pretty cool. So by the looks of it, I can get quite a few of each power-up. I wonder what the limit is. I guess we'll find out later. So there's a big lighthouse tower over there. That's exactly what it wants me to do. Make the lighthouse shine. So there's these ostrich things with cat ears. I guess everything is cat ears in this game. So, okay. So Bowser Jr. killed one and I killed one. Okay. So we're even. That's fine. So I'm going to go up here. But it looks like he's showing me something. So I'm going to pop that item and see what else we can find. So it looks like there is a token up there. I'm not quite sure how to get it, but okay, I'm gonna try my best to get that token. Maybe Bowser Jr. could get it for me, I don't know. So there's a weird crate right here. I'm gonna go inside. Oh look, another one of these tokens. What are these called? I'll just call them tokens for now. Not coins, but tokens. So, or I guess a shrine coin, that's what I'm going to call them. So it looks like this is nothing, that's no good. And I'm going to go up here, and oh look, there's cats, how cute. So there's every color of cats except yellow, which is Mario. So it looks like there's another one of those tokens up there. And as you can see on the bottom, it shows that I need five of them. But right there, there's a question mark thing. I'm going to let Bowser Jr. investigate, and another mushroom. Okay, I'm not excited about mushrooms. But it's still for free. I'll take anything I can get for free. So I'm going to try and get this token. Looks like I can't right off the bat. I'm going to keep trying. I don't give up, guys. So I will jump up again. Keep trying until I get this cat token once and for all. But I am having some struggles getting it. Hopefully I can get it here. No, I just dove off the platform again. That's okay. I'm going to try and climb up the wall to get it. Okay, good. That's how you get it. Good. Pretty sure you're supposed to use that other thing, but I didn't, so that's okay. So I'm gonna carry a cat. I'm not, I didn't know I could do that. So it looks like it's permanently scratching, which is kind of cool. Oh, now it's following me, like I'm its father. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's get this. Let's see what this is. Another cat bell. So I have one cat bell, two mushrooms in my pockets. Ooh, 99 coins. Okay, I need one more coin. And we'll see what happens when you get one more coin. Because I know in all of the other games, once you get 100 coins, you get a 1-up. But in this game, I've never played it. So, we're going to see what it gives us. But let's continue our journey trying to find those tokens and more cash shrines. Oh, so it looks like once we got 100 coins, Bowser Jr. gave us a random power-up. And that power-up was the boomerang, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I got one of them. Here's a cash shrine right here. Not a cat token, not the fragments, but a cat shrine. So that goes into this tower, and maybe it lights it? Yes, it does. Awesome. How cool. So now we have two out of the five done on that tower, unless I'm thinking of another tower. In the top left corner, we have two cat shrines, and we need five to awaken the Giga Bell. So Bowser Jr. wants to say something. So... He thinks that when the beast rises, the Giga Bell rises. And the more cat shrines it gives us, the more goop will go off of it and we can get it. So that's pretty cool. Bowser Jr.'s actually helping us pretty good, telling us the tips and tricks of how to get the giant bell. I didn't mean to click screenshot. I meant to click the minus button so I can look at the map. So by the looks of it, we only unlocked a small little portion and Bowser's shell is in the direct middle. We've only seen him once so far, maybe he'll awaken again soon. I'm not quite sure how that works or how much time it takes. So let's see, Fort Flaptrap, Bully the Cat Bullies. Oh, so it's raining, so I think that's an indicator that Bowser's coming, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so there's another token right here, but the counter reset because I am in a new island or new area. So that's pretty cool. That's always good to know. There's these bullies from normal Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. I know what to do. Oh, but look, Bowser's shell. He is awakening. This is awesome. Now is my chance to get him again. Maybe defeat him for the final time, but I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure how it works, how many times I can beat Bowser. 
Okay, square up, Bowser. Now it's time to fight. So, this time he looks even scarier. I'm not sure how he looks scary, but I, I think he does. I saw some Bowser blocks earlier, uh, and I think only Bowser can open those blocks and I can't. So there's the red part, so that means that he is shooting that inferno -y spray at us, the inferno -y fire spray, so that means you go away. So I hid behind the first thing that I saw, and we're just gonna keep running away, and hopefully Bowser will shoot those blocks that I saw earlier. I'm trying to find it, I'm trying to remember where exactly I saw those blocks so that Bowser can shoot it. So look at this, there's a new area that came up here, and maybe it's just changed, because I do notice that every time we fight Bowser, something changes, which is kind of hot. So there's another token right there, Bowser Jr. will get it for me, I'm sure. Um, let's see if he does. Yeah, I think he defeated the enemy, so it's just right there. Okay, so I avoided that Inferno Spray right there, and hopefully Bowser will leave me alone. Yes, I'm right. Okay, good. Looks like Bowser got tired, like it's only been about a minute of us fighting, or him fighting, and he got tired already. So right there on top of the ledge above us, we can see another cat shrine fragment token. So we're gonna get that. Ooh, so things are going on. It seems like we're unlocking more and more stuff. So as you can see, I just found another token right there and I'm going to keep exploring trying to find the three others and any other shards or anything else that I can find in this world. So I'm going to go down this slide right here for the second time. I already got one earlier from here. I already defeated all of these. Uh, I'm not sure why I have to do it again, but oh, that's okay. So everything's just repeating. And it seems like we're getting more and more stuff that we can get. Oof, I fell all the way down. That's okay. I'll just make my way all the way back up. That's okay, though. So we're going to keep going, fight our way to the end, and hopefully beat Bowser again and again and again. Our goal is to wear the man out and to defeat Bowser once and for all and to make sure Bowser Jr. has a great dad once again. So first we're going to take out these little creatures right here, these boomerang guys. Looks like Bowser Jr. will. Thank you, Bowser Jr. And so the achievement on the left, make the lighthouse shine. So i got to find a way of how to. So I guess I'm going to take these jump pads because it seems like these jump pads lead me to something else and that's pretty cool because I want to go wherever these jump pads will take me. Maybe there's more tokens, these cat shrine tokens, or maybe there's a whole nother cat shrine itself, which would be even better. But it shows here, make the lighthouse shine, so we're probably going to have to do something significant in order to find it. It'll probably take a while as well. So, we're going to climb our way up, partly with the cat, because it's much easier using a cat than anything else. It is super, super easy. So let's jump on this giant jump pad and it takes us nowhere, okay. So now I'm going to get this little thing right here, there we go, long jump and got it, quite awesome. Now we have two left, Lakeside Giga Bell, that's where we are now. We need five of those things to unlock it, which is kind of interesting. So we're going to go over here, looks like there's the black blob from um, one of the first Mario games. And there's Luigi running out of it, so it looks like I gotta catch Luigi, which is pretty cool, and I'll do it for any kind of price. However, I am hoping that we get an entire new area just from beating Luigi, or we get something out of it. Right now, we only have two of the tokens. Hopefully, we can get more from beating Luigi. I thought he would go to the side over there and I would beat him out of the way, but no, I didn't. He outsmarted me. So I got another cat shrine, so that brings my total up to two, and now it lit up the lighthouse. That is quite awesome. So we have two of the five done for this lighthouse. We need three more, and we're only going to do a few more this episode, and we're going to fight Bowser one or two more times, and then that will be it for this episode. But I'm sure there's going to be at least 20 more minutes of this episode. All these episodes will be very, very long. The average length of a normal episode for me is around 11 minutes. And this will be almost quadruple that. Four times my average 
length of the video. So I've already got that token right there. I'm trying to figure out how to make it up there, but there's no clear choice for me to make it up there. Maybe there is, maybe I just haven't found it yet, which is why I'm exploring right now so I can find another way up there. Because it seems like there's something important up there if it's there. I mean, this game doesn't put things in the middle of nowhere just for no reason. They've got to put it there for a reason. So everything in this game has a reason. So i got to get the block right here because I didn't get it earlier. I went straight to Luigi instead. It's another cat bell. Awesome. I'll gladly take up cat bells and I'll take any kind of um, power up so that I can get later in the game. Because I know this eventually gets harder. Right now it's not very hard, but later it will get harder. I promise you that. We'll see how hard it gets ourselves. So, look, here's some Bowser blocks. So once Bowser comes, oh, which he's about to because it's raining. Raining is a key factor that he's about to respawn and wake up out of his nap. So I'm going to wait right here in AFK so that he wakes up and I get it and he burns that Bowser block down. But I see a little fragment right here, a little token. I'm going to get it before he wakes up and return to the area I was just talking about. Oh, but no. Ooh, Bowser spawned right next to me. That's not good. So hopefully I can make it over there to the Bowser blocks before he shoots his laser inferno beam. Once his screen turns red, ooh, like right now, he's about to shoot it. So I got to hide right here and hopefully he doesn't shoot me. So he did open the blocks, which is exactly what I wanted him to do. And I got the cat shrine. I have four, I mean, I got the fourth one, and I have three out of four. So that cat shrine lit up the tower, and that will make Bowser hide again. Bowser does not like the light. That is his weakness. See, the health above his head keeps going down and down and down every single time we scare him, which is pretty good. That's exactly what we want. We want to defeat Bowser. And there we go. We got all the coins in the cat shrine just from that right there. Ooh, it looks like there's these flying things, which I could use later to get up to the place that I was looking for earlier, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll end up going over there later. So look, there's more Bowser blocks over there by the tree with the token in it. That's exactly where we're going. We're going with the token, and our goal is that when Bowser respawns again, we will break those blocks right there and I'm sure there's something right there. They can't just have the Bowser blocks there for coins or something. There's got to be a token or an entire cat thing, which is really cool. I hope there is something there because like, I don't want to waste my time on that. So we're going to keep exploring. Oh, it looks like there's blocks right here. We want to slow down our momentum and get a cat bell and go in there because it looks like there's something there. And yes, there is. There is a cat token. I'm so happy that I didn't miss that. Right there, there's a question mark thing. Also, there's the um, flip switch things where every time you jump, it switches. And also the cat bullies, which you don't like the cat bullies. So I'm going to request Bowser Jr.'s help to open up that thing right there. Let's see exactly what it is. It is a cat bell. Awesome. I like cat bells. I will always use cat bells. So right there, I'm going to jump, I'm going to outsmart the guy, I'm going to push him into the flip switch, and then jump so he goes down. But I just need to be careful I don't fall in, because I will probably die if I fall in. So that was very close right there, I almost died, that was real close. Maybe two for one, there's another guy right here. Yup, there we go, and looks like there's one more guy left, I don't want to risk anything. So he's not too dumb, like he won't go directly over the thing. Instead, I have to push him, which is fine. So there it is. There's another cat shrine right there. So I'm going to make my way towards it. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's my first death, guys. That's not good. Okay, so it only took away, oof, about 50 coins. Yeah, I think it took away 50 coins to go back there. But that kind of stinks. I, I lost 50 coins when I could have got a new power-up in just two more coins. But that's okay. So I gotta redo this all over again, all because I died. This time I'm gonna use a fire flower because it tells me to. It's right there for me. So there's no reason not to use it. So I'm gonna use a fire flower and push him into the lava that way, which is quite awesome. So 
I gotta push all of them into the lava. I've only pushed one, and there's quite a few to go. So I almost got two of them on the same platform at the same time, but I did not. That's okay though. So I gotta push a few more guys, and then I get to Cat Shrine again, but this time I won't fall into the lava. I promise. I'm not falling into the lava a second time, because then I gotta restart this dumb challenge, and that takes forever. So I'm not gonna redo that again. Unless I die, but I'm not going to die. I already know I'm not going to die. Okay, so I gotta keep pushing him away, and hopefully he ends up in the lava trap below, and then we can get the cat shrine. I want to be as close as I can to the cat shrine so I don't miss it and don't die. So there's a cat shrine right there. It is the one and only cat shrine in this area for the moment. And yeah, awesome. Cat shrine. Bully the bullies. Awesome. So it is going to light up the tower. Ooh, that is awesome. That is our first one in the tower. That is awesome. So now we have five cat shrines and the Giga Bell is ready to get picked up by us so we can fight Bowser. That is quite awesome. But Bowser is not quite ready to fight. We still got to wait for him a little bit. But while we do, we're going to go over there to the Cat Bell so that once Bowser spawns, we can pick up the Giga Bell and fight him like a man this time instead of just running away like I have been doing every other time. So right here on the Lakeside Giga Bell Island, we're going to pick up the coins and wait for the goo to go off of it. And But all of that will have to wait for the next video. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye.